to see so many people here. Um, my name's Mark, um, and I'm one of the directors uh, of the Alan Turing Institute. I look after the program on data-centric engineering, which is supported by the Lloyd Register Foundation, uh, and this is, is one of the uh, supporters of uh, today's event. So the Alan Turing Institute, just very briefly, uh, is the UK's National Institute for Data Science. And everything really started with a, a government initiative uh, to put the UK on the international map as far as data science was concerned. And so the Institute has been running for just under two years. And we were extremely fortunate to have as our first director, uh, Andrew Blake, uh, who we managed to recruit from Microsoft Research. Uh, Andrew, fellow of the Royal Society, fellow of the Royal uh, Academy of Engineering, uh, hugely illustrious career in, in computer vision. And, and he really uh, got us up on our feet and, and uh, got us going. Um, in September, uh, we will have a new director, and it will be um, Sir Adrian Smith, uh, many of you will know him as a, um, one of the, uh, the, the forerunners of modern-day uh, Bayesian statistics. Uh, and for the last 20-odd years, he's um, forged a, a career uh, in politics. So we're really very excited about that, especially the statisticians amongst us uh, are, are extremely excited by this. So um, I hope you enjoy today. Um, and one thing I, I would really encourage you to, to do is uh, think about if there are any other opportunities for follow-on events or even follow-on activity uh, related to uh, the workshop today with the Alan Turing Institute. There, there are many offers that are um, loosely related to a lot of uh, what's going to be discussed. So we'd be really very keen uh, to try and explore uh, you know, further collaborations and so forth. So I'm going to hand over to Richard, who's the Associate Director. All right, thank you. SAMSI. Thank you. So I wanted to give a, a, a brief welcome on behalf of, of SAMSI. We're the co-sponsors of the event. I'll just give a very brief introduction to myself. I'm Richard Smith. In earlier parts of my career, I had positions at Imperial College and Surrey and Cambridge, but for the last 20 plus years now, I've been a professor at the University of North Carolina. And for seven and a half years, I was director of SAMSI. Um, so SAMSI stands, it stands for the Statistical and Applied Mathematical Sciences Institute. We are one of six mathematical institutes funded in the US by the National Science Foundation. Uh, SAMSI it set, with itself was set up by a collaboration of three universities in, in the so-called Triangle area of North Carolina, uh, namely Duke University, North Carolina State University, and, and the University of North Carolina. And you know, rather like Oxford and Cambridge, we have our light blues and dark blues, except NC State is the odd one out because they're red. Um, Sam, so SAMSI is set up. We, we have our headquarters here. If, if you're not very familiar with the geography of the United States, we're about sort of 200 miles southeast of Washington. Um, we have visitors from all over the world, including you know, several current visitors from the UK. Um, so let me move on. So we started, SAMSI was originally set up in, in 2002, and uh, that's a photograph of the original opening ceremony with our local congressman right there in the middle. Um, that's where we are now in, in the middle of Research Triangle Park in North Carolina. And our mission, I mean, every institute has to have a mission statement. So this is SAMSI's mission. It's to forge a synthesis of the statistical sciences and the applied mathematical sciences with disciplinary science in order to confront the very hardest and most important data-driven scientific challenges. Um, well, that's a lot of words, but I mean, what we try, you know, a lot of this is being represented in our meeting today. We have statisticians and applied mathematicians here, and the disciplinary science we're focusing on today is, is climate science and meteorology, and a lot of that work is very, very data-driven, and that's essentially why we wanted to have a, a workshop that would get statisticians and computer scientists together with, with meteorologists and, and people expert in, in climate science. 
Um, in terms of what SAMSI does as part of its regular activities, um, we're primarily a research institute. We have year-long programs in various subjects that are, are topical in, in statistics and applied mathematics. We also have um, shorter activities such as summer programs and individual workshops on specific topics. We also have an education and outreach side. The National Science Foundation is actually very keen on this. We have workshops aimed at graduate students and undergraduate students. And the, the Keenan Fellows program, that's, uh, that's something that North Carolina has aimed, aimed at high school teachers. So in terms of what does a research program consist of, well, a lot of it is consisting of working groups that meet to, um, to develop research in specific topics. And the way we set up the working groups these days, we use various forms of mo remote access, mostly WebEx, uh, which actually does make it perfectly feasible. If anybody here would like to take part in a SAMC working group sometime, you can register online. And you know there, there may be a little bit of a problem with, with setting up the timing of it with the time differences. But I mean, there's, there's no difficulty, no technical difficulty um, arranging people to join remotely by WebEx. We also have research workshops where everybody gets together at the SAMSI headquarters in North Carolina and other kinds of activities. where We have visitors come from time to time. We have a postdoc program and, and other things like that. So this is what we're doing at the moment. We have one program on mathematical and statistical methods for climate and the Earth system. That's really the program that led to today's workshop. And as it happens, there's another program that's going on at the same time on a totally different topic on Quasi Monte Carlo. Um, Mark has been uh, actively involved with that program. And in fact, we're going to have another workshop joint with the Turing Institute here in a few weeks in connection with that program. So a bit about what the climate program is doing. I've got a list there of all the working groups. And I won't try to read down the list and, and explain what they all mean. But I mean, certainly, definitely the first two of that list, and I suspect random selections from the rest are going to be represented today. Um, and basically, a lot of topics that, that involve um, statistics and, and data science in, in the climate context. If you want to know what we're doing in future, well, next year, we have two programs set up. One is on precision medicine. And the other is on model uncertainty and you know uncertainty quantification and things like that. Uh, and I'm sure there's going to be more discussion of climate models and you know, things like how you quantify uncertainty in climate models in that program. So a bit about the future plans for SAMC. Now, I said at the beginning, I'm, I'm, I'm not actually director anymore. I gave up being director at the beginning of this year. Our new director is David Banks, who's a professor at Duke. Um, SAMC is uh, going, there's another NSF National Science Foundation funding competition coming up and I, I feel confident that David is going to, to lead SAMC into that with, with confidence that, that we can be successful at recompeting for our funding. Um, David, I know, wants to see a stronger focus on themes like data science, and machine learning and interactions with computer science, which might indeed create possibilities for future collaborations with the Turing Institute. Um, and he also would like to see a stronger focus on international collaboration. So in a, today's meeting is our first collaboration with the Turing Institute, but echoing what Mark said in his introductory remarks, we, we certainly hope there are opportunities for many more in the future. So in conclusion, thank you for coming and enjoy the day. <laughs>